Let's get this party started. <laughs> the friends, I'm craving everything bread. So I picked up this Weight Watchers bread and I'm gonna show you three ways I'm using it to get lean, but not mean for spring. And guess what? I'm making maple cinnamon French toast, classic club sandwich, and chicken, sausage, and pineapple pizza. Yeah. We're starting with the classic club and this is what you're gonna need, sweetheart. Okay, we need bread, obviously. Three slices of the Weight Watchers bread. I'm using the whole wheat. One and a half tablespoons of light Miracle Whip. Salt and pepper. We need a slice of light Swiss cheese. I'm using this blue menu from Zares in Canada, but any 60 cows for a slice will do. Two slices of tomato. Two slices of turkey bacon that has been cooked. This is my favorite. It's applewood smoked turkey bacon, the butter ball. Five slices or 45 calories worth of turkey. I'm using the honey turkey from Budig. And 45 calories or five slices of ham. I'm using the Budig honey ham. Toasted bread, it gives it a chance to cool a little bit because you don't want your lettuce to wilt. So I'm gonna take some of the light Miracle Whip and spread it on each of my slices of bread. What I wanna do is leave a little bit left over cause I'm gonna show you what we'll do with that. I'm eating all these beautiful things. I love low-cal staples like this low-cal Weight Watchers bread because it um, makes me love my food so that I can stick to what I'm doing while I'm leaning out. And like, I've already lost eight pounds on my spring lean out and my pants were falling down all day. I literally had to keep doing the pull up, you know? So we got our lovely Miracle Whip here. And now what we're gonna do, some lettuce. We're gonna put down first on one of the slices of bread. Let's choose this one. So put a bit of lettuce. And then we're gonna put some tomato. And then I'm gonna salt and pepper the tomato. Wow, does it ever, ooh, ooh mom. I called myself mom. Um, I put too much pepper, just do this. Do, 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 do. Yep. <laughs> so then we're gonna put the turkey bacon on top. Let's go like that. And like that. Then we're going to take one of the slices of bread and put it mayo or Miracle Whip side down. And we're gonna take the leftover Miracle Whip. Yeah, sorry for the clangage. I like uh, clang clang in here. And we'll spread this around real sweet. <laughs> then put the turkey and just lay it on so cute. You got your five slices of meat, see? Here you go. And then we're gonna put our hammy on top. It's a pretty massive sandwich, even for me. Oh, honey, you're gonna love this. Gonna be the spice of your life. <laughs> Come on, honey, get us separate. There you go, Bubba. And then put you here, and then you put your cheese bug, like that. And then you put Miracle Whip side down of your bread. So let's just um, do a little cutter through here on an angle and see how she turns out. Look at that. Whoa! 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 This is going to be optional for you guys, but we're gonna serve our BLTs, cause I'm gonna make one for Sassy after, with these veggie chips. These are the Quaker Veggie Crispy Minis, Italian herb and olive oil. So just, um, these are 16 chips or 20 grams for 90 calories. So just add 90 cals to the total that I give you after. So I'm gonna put 16 of these cute little muffins for Remember, if you toothpick it, remove it before you eat because you don't want to pick yourself. Wow. Mmm. Wow, those are good. Okay, for this sandwich, 409 calories, 15 grams of fat, 35 grams of carbs, and 32 grams of protein. Isn't that amazing? And I love the Weight Watcher bread because you get three pieces for really decent cows. Catch ya for the next Sausage and pineapple pizza. Let's get it. This is what you're gonna need, cute and muffin. Three slices of the Weight Watchers bread. Some sauce. We like to use pasta sauce because it's cheaper. These are from both from Costco, so whatever is cheap we get. We need three tablespoons of that. 
an ounce of banana peppers, and these are the Bix Hot and Spicy. Three tablespoons of pineapple. I'm using the canned pineapple tidbits, they're called, from Great Value. 30 grams of shredded cheese. This is regular mozzarella. I like to use the finely shredded because it feels like you get more, and then when you're doing three slices, it divides good. When it's really small, you can a little goes a long way. A salt and pepper to taste and a sliced chicken sausage. I'm using these, these are chicken sausage with mango and jalapeno from Costco. If you can't get like this exact one, you get 12, this is what they look like. If you can't get this exact one, you're just looking for a chicken sausage that's 170 calories and I think about 15 grams of protein. So don't panic if you can't get the same one, just get something similar. And so I have my air fryer, I'm gonna air fry these. I have it preheated to 390 and I'm gonna air fry these for five minutes. So let's get the sauce on there and I'm gonna do a tablespoon per bread. Get saucy, or if you're sassy, you can get sassy like. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. There you go, bud. Then you're gonna put your toppings on. I kind of just gonna spread the pineapple between the three pieces of bread. Okay, then we're gonna do the banana peppers. And now we put your sausage. Wow. <laughs> okay? I make myself laugh sometimes. All the that time. That makes one of us. <laughs> oh, tuck these babies in. This is gonna be loaded to the blink. Wow. Whoa, doesn't even got cheese on it yet. Now divide the cheese up between the three. And now we're gonna take these babies over to the air fryer. Okay, I'm just gonna slide these on as graceful as I can. Sassy stepping on my foot, thanks bud. <laughs> so shut it and let it go. Oh, honey, you are so cute. <gasps> okay, now that they're ready, I'm gonna top them with a teaspoon of ranch dressing. There we go. Yeah, just so. Ooh, eyeball action. That'll help with the heat. Yeah, that's what I think too. And now we're gonna test it up. Mmm. Mmm. Some cheese pull action. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That chicken sausage is amazing. You can taste like. Everything, the chicken, the sausage, the hella <laughs> calories for these three 515 cows, 23 grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. I will see you for the French toast bake numero three, baby. Maple cinnamon French toast bake. Let's do it. This is what we need, cutie. First, I preheated the air fryer to 390 degrees and I got a large bowl with a large egg in there. We need a tablespoon of low calorie syrup and this is the one I'm using and we need three tablespoons extra for topping it when it's done. A, a third cup of egg whites, I'm just using the Costco brand. A tablespoon of unsweetened almond milk, I'm using the Kirkland the vanilla flavor a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a scoop of protein powder, and of course I'm using maple cookie protein from Huddled HTLT Sup, code Nicole to save yourself 10%. Get this, it's the best flavor. Also, if you wanna know, I lost 130 pounds, kept it off for eight years. You wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight? I got weight lossy books. Code Nicole will save you 10% there too. We also need three slices of the Weight Watchers bread and the P.S. The Resistance, a quarter cup of Special K cinnamon pecan cereal. You can just find a similar locale cinnamon cereal if you can't find that one. I have crushed it up slightly and now we're ready to go. So I got the egg. I'm gonna put the rest of my wet ingredients in here. So the milk, the syrup, the egg whites, and then we'll go for the cinnamon and the protein powder. And this is gonna make a, I call it batter, but like a thick egg mixture. We'll just 
mix this all up like this. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, so whip it up really, really good with like a fork or a whisk until it's really well blended. And then I'm gonna rip the bread up into pieces and just put it on the plate first, like that. Just, you know, like small to medium size. Okay, once the bread's all ripped up, we're gonna dump it into the bowl. And I'm gonna use just my hands to coat it all up. And then we're gonna pour it into a greased or sprayed with cooking spray pan. And I use a small six inch one to go into the air fryer. And that is that one. These are my vitamins. <laughs> it's a small six inch like cake pan and I'm just gonna go fling with my spatula. Get it all in there. And then I just kind of push it to the bottom of the pan to make a sort of like, you know, square. We're gonna top it with the special K. <gasps> oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now it's going in the air fryer for six minutes. All right, let's <clears throat> reveal. Oh yeah, that baked up perfect. Beautiful. Oh yes, now let's top it. Shall we put some lovely syrup? Okay, we're gonna do three tablespoons of this low-cal syrup. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, this looks so good. And then we'll do a little bit of this Truvia sugar-free powdered sugar. Just, do, just for the PS the resistance, a little sweet loving on there. All right, let's taste this up. Mm. I get a really good maple cinnamon flavor in there and it makes it taste like a dessert for breakfast. Oh yeah, that's so lovely. I'm gonna eat this up with a lovely coffee. So the friends, for this breakfast, it's 442 calories nine grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 47 grams of protein. So, I hope you enjoyed this vid, hope you enjoy all these meals. I will catch you in the next vid, cutie. Peace, sweetheart. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale, it's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.